Hi Capricorn, this is your July 3rd through July 9th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at new love coming towards you. In the second spread we'll look at the existing love in a relationship or marriage. Then I'll do the X spread after that. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And at the end we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. Uh, we have uh, the Three of Pentacles, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups, clarified by the Fool. We also have the Nine of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the Knight of Pentacles with uh, the Hierophant and the Chariot. And we also have the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a uh, fellow Earth sign, Taurus, uh, Virgo, or not a Capricorn. We also have Aries and uh, Cancer on the table. But you could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. Um, you already know this person. I think you do. Unless somebody brings a new person into this old circle of friends. I do see you getting together with people from your past collaborating or just playing Monopoly <laughs> or um, you know if you're in the United States it could be like the 4th of July celebration uh, you may have somebody starting at your workplace and perhaps you used to work with this person some time ago yeah that's how you definitely already know this person most of you do right the three of pentacles the first card i came out is clarified by the page of pentacles the three of pentacles is a card of collaboration this is when a group of people gets together and they do something it could be a workplace environment business place environment or it's just a bunch of people who get together and do something right the page of pentacles clarifying that um, it could be like a, a ticket to a show or a concert, perhaps you guys are getting together and you're gonna go out, <laughs> right, and you're gonna party like it's 1999 again or something like that, or perhaps you have to buy something, perhaps it's a, like a get-together barbecue and you have to chip in, or something along those lines. That's how it feels with the Three of Pentacles. And uh, the next card I came out is the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is a soulmate card, but at the same time it's a card of uh, somebody from the past, and that's what I think is happening. It's a bunch of people getting together, or it's just someone from the past. Okay, the full clarifying it could be an Aries here dealing, but the full is like, yeah, let's let's do it again, let's get together, let's have a good time like we used to do, or something among those lines, right? If you have uh, somebody, say somebody you used to work with starts at your company, or you run into somebody you used to work with on the streets while you're taking lunch, you guys are gonna go grab a grab a cup of uh, coffee together or something like that, or you may even go to like a happy hour or something like that. The Nine of Cups in the middle is that celebration, right? It's a card of a wish come true, wish granted, it's a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment, and in some tarot decks the Nine of Cups looks like there's a bunch of people getting together and uh, having a good time. All right, <laughs> and that's when I think the Ace of Cups will play out. Uh, the Ace of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. It's uh, love, genuine, authentic love. With the Ace of Cups, people are in love. Okay, in the potential outcome, we have the Knight of Pentacles with the Hierophant and the Chariot. This is some serious stuff. Two major Arcana cards. Um, what I noticed is that in the main spread on the left, those five cards that we were just talking about, it's not really like uh, serious. Perhaps you're just getting together, having a good time, you know, you're just having fun, all this and that. However, in the potential outcome, it's some serious stuff, right? The Knight of Pentacles could be an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn, it could be your energy. But at the same time, the Knight of Pentacles is the most serious, the most grounded, the most long-term night out of all four nights with the Knight of Pentacles, you can always plan ahead. Granted, it is the slowest night as well, but I think in this case, it's just you guys getting serious. Plan ahead, right? Plan the future together. The night, I mean, the uh, the Hierophant in the middle could be a Taurus you're dealing with, but that's what you're planning. Your life together. You're waiting. The Hierophant is a card of something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage. Then we have the Chariot. The Chariot is actually the, one of the fastest cards on the deck, so I think things will eventually speed up, right? Uh, the Chariot could be a Cancer, you know, the Chariot it could be you guys moving in together, it could be you going traveling together, and besides that, the Chariot is also a card of moving forward and not looking back. It's a card of victory, success, feeling great. It's a card of a triumph. Alright, so yeah, it started off kind of like, hey, let's get together and have some fun, but then 
turns out there's love between you and this person and uh, the rest is history. The rest is history Capricorn. Really happy for you, congratulations. Capricorn, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this better is for you. We have uh, the Queen of Cups, clarified by the Three of Cups. Uh, we have the King of Pentacles, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords and uh, the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. My oh my, <laughs> took me a quick second, uh, Capricorn. <laughs> we do have uh, two couples, all right? <laughs> and we do have the Three of Cups, clarifying the Queen of Cups, right? And so, yeah, I think it's simply uh, a Cancer's birthday party, right? Uh, the Queen of Cups, the first guy that came out is most likely a Cancer, and it's a Cancer birthday season. The Three of Cups, clarifying that is uh, a card of a celebration. All right, uh, and it could be more than just the four of you. It could be a whole bunch of other people. When, whenever so many court cards come out, um, yeah, it's it most likely is a you know some kind of a huge gathering. All right, or it could be a private dinner <laughs> when just the two couples go to that dinner. Okay, um, yeah, the Three of Cups could also be a part of a third party situation. By the way, <laughs> Capricorn. <laughs> Um, but um, most likely it's just either that dinner would when just the two couples go out to the dinner or it's a Cancer's birthday party and a whole bunch of people are gonna show up. All right, cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you uh, Capricorn this week. Keep in mind it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Six of Swords clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, we have uh, the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, and we also have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Well, um, you could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign, Capricorn. We do have primarily Earth and uh, Air, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, here's how you'll know who this is. This is somebody who just made a lot of money. Okay, and now they're looking to settle down, now, now they're looking to get married, and they thought of you, <laughs> okay? Um, yeah, I think they're doing very well financially now, I really do, that's what it feels like, right? The, the Six of Swords, the first guy that came out was clarified by the Nine of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, it could be them coming back to you, but at the same time, the Six of Swords is a card of an improvement, okay? And the Nine of Pentacles, clarifying that, this card sometimes represents somebody who is doing very well financially, okay? Um, the Ten of Pentacles in the middle is also a financial abundance card. It's also a card of real estate. And um, most importantly, it's a card of rock-solid commitment to marriage. That's what they want, uh, Capricorn. And they're ready, to, they're, they are able to provide now. Perhaps in the past, they didn't have that much money or they didn't know what they want or whatever. Perhaps now they got their shit together, cleaned themselves up, got a good job, made some money, doing very well financially now and now they believe they can pro provide a very safe and uh, financially abundant environment for you. Okay? And um, yeah, and they mean it. We got two aces on the table. The Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Some serious stuff going on with those two aces. The Ace of Swords is them being very straightforward, very upfront with you. The Ace of Swords often plays out as a card, yes, <laughs> by the way. So that yes could be coming from you, okay? The Wheel of Fortune, clarifying that. Uh, could be a Sag you're dealing with, but yeah, they want to get serious, right? The Wheel of Fortune is a major kind of card. It's a start of a cycle. They want to start a new cycle on the, on the next level up. They've leveled up, so now they want you to. Now they want to share everything they've got with you. The Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck often comes through as a proposal. Okay, um, if it's not a proposal right away, still this card always comes from somebody who is ready to settle down, ready to start a family, ready to get serious. So yes, Capricorn, they're serious, and uh, it's going to be up to you how you want to handle this. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Capricorn, this week. We have uh, the Five of Cups, clarified by the Ten of Wands. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the Star on the bottom of the deck. You'll be dealing with somebody from your past. This is either your previous employer, um, and they're going to be reaching out to you, hoping you, you could go back. They will offer you your old job back, or uh, perhaps... Um, you were applying for jobs and you went through interviews and that company chose somebody else over you and uh, they're now realizing they made a big mistake. 
Okay, perhaps um, somebody, perhaps you were up for a promotion at your old job, right? And they, they promoted somebody else, you left and now they regret it. So that could also be the case here. But definitely somebody coming back from the past. The Five of Cups, the first card that came out, that card has always to do with the past. This is a card of a regret and grief. The Ten of Wands clarifying it is a card of a burden. So they regret not having you or, or not uh, promoting you or um, you know, not asking you to stay if you already left. So here they come with that Ace of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, De very decent chunk of change. And this is where negotiations could probably begin, <laughs> Capricorn. You could ask for more money. Do, don't be arrogant, don't be cocky, but um, if you ask for a little bit more money, they will give it to you, okay? Um, the six of ones uh, right next to the deck, I think that's you. All right, this is a card of victory and success, recognition, somebody being rec uh, awarded, rewarded, promoted, okay? And uh, the star on the bottom of the deck is a card of a wish come true. It's also a card of healing. So if you're going back to your old employer, you know, there will be a healing period because they'll be like, oh, we're so sorry, things like that. All right, cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Capricorn. We have uh, the Queen of Swords, clarified by the Nine of Cups. We have Temperance, clarified by the King of Wands. We have the Three of Wands, clarified by the Star. And we also have Justice on the bottom of the deck. I think this is only indirectly related to you, Capricorn. All right, Because we do have the Queen of Swords and the King of Wands. Granted, we all can embrace the energy of any King or any Queen in the deck, but in this case, it's those two are either patching things up, they're reconciling, or if they're not reconciling, then they're deciding to move forward together. Okay, We do have two healing cards in the Tarot deck, and both of them are on the table. Temperance and the Star are those two cards. However, if uh, the King of Wands, Clefine Temperance is a Sagittarius, then it's not necessarily patching things up, right? Because both the King of Wands and Temperance could be a Sagittarius card, all right? <laughs> um, uh, the Star um, is not only a healing card, it's also part of a wish come true, all right? Something people wish for or hope for for a very long time. Justice on the bottom of the deck, again, is either an apology from one to the other, or justice, this is them getting serious and planning, planning a wedding or something like that. So this right here could be an engagement, right? The Queen of Swords, uh, most likely an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, is clarified by the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a card of, uh, you know, a wish come true as well, just like the star. So yeah, what you're not expecting is those two either getting back together or getting together and planning the future together. All right, so yep, that's what I have for you, Capricorn, for this reading, for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Capricorn, have an amazing week.